All right, guys. These are the two most common rulers that I use at work. This ruler right here, this one is for oversized bricks. It's for queen size and king size bricks. This one right here is for standard size brick. It's a much smaller brick like this one here and the ones that are on these steps already. This here is just a new version of this one. This one's kind of wore out, so for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to be using this one. So before you start on a brick job, the first thing you're going to want to do is take some bricks and kind of separate them out to where you can get a nice uniform joint, something that uh, you think the bricks will want to lay on nice. So this gets you something like that there where they look real good and uniform. So when you open up your oversized brick ruler, you're going to see this ABC scale on it. And each letter represents a brick and a mortar joint of different thicknesses. So when we take this and lay it across the bricks that we have out here, when you start it with a joint pass, you'll see that these are going to pretty much hit right on an E. They're all really close to the E right there. So we know that we can lay these bricks and they'll look nice on this E. Right here I'm going to show you the height difference between a standard size brick and an oversized brick. It's quite significant. So when we open up the standard size brick ruler, it has a 1, 2, 3 scale on it. And it represents the same as the oversized brick. It's uh, both a brick with a mortar joint. Of different thicknesses. Each ruler also has this set of red numbers. It indicates the amount of courses that it takes for the marks that you're using. So you can always check and see with uh, the work that you have left, you, you can know how many courses that it takes. Each of these marks are about a sixteenth of an inch apart. So you can fluctuate up or down if you're getting out of level a little bit at a time so it won't be noticeable. Using these two rulers is how a bricklayer keeps himself level all the way around the house, hits window seals, keeps from having cuts over top of a window or a garage door, just constantly having to work it out, work it out. And that's how it's done. 